Hey everyone, Tracy here from nopageleftblank.wordpress.com and as you can see I got my hair cut and styled today and I figured good time to do a video because it will never ever look like this again. Make no mistake. It will never look like this again. So while it's still cute and curly and fluffy and adorable I thought I'd do a video I've been meaning to do this video for a couple of weeks. Um, a YouTuber that I follow did uh, started this tag video uh, called Spring Obsessed with 10 questions relating to spring and I thought it was really cute so I thought I would give it a try myself. Uh, as you can see from the fact that I'm wearing a sweater, spring hasn't exactly hit my neck of the woods yet. But if I wait for spring to happen, uh, the tag might not exist anymore. <laughs> so we're going to give it a try today anyway. So there are 10 questions. And I will link to her original video below uh, if you want to check it out. The first question is, do you get the spring cleaning kick? Short answer, yes. Um, I'm not the best person in the world for keeping my house clean. Um, mainly it's cluttered. I, I won't say that it's dirty, but it's cluttered. I'm the kind of person that when I finish my supper, I throw the dishes on the counter. Uh, when I'm putting on my pajamas at night, I throw my clothes on the floor. <laughs> and my husband and daughter aren't exactly that much better, so our house does tend to look cluttered and messy and we try to keep up with it but you can only do so much um, but when spring rolls around and the weather starts getting nice and you're getting some more sun and all that kind of thing and heavy trash pickup comes along um, yeah I get into the spring cleaning kick and you know throw out some junk and just try to make the house feel nice and clean that happen at least once a year, right? Okay, question number two is picnics at the park or picnics at the beach? I'm going to have to go with picnics at the beach just because I love beach. Um, I don't go nearly as much as I would like to um, usually because where I work out west I'm gone for 14 days at a time then when I get home it's like you know, trying to get yourself to go out. I just, I miss my house so much that I tend to seclude myself in my house and enjoy, you know, my bed and my TV and my video games and everything. But I do actually love going to the beach. Um, I love the sun and the sand and just, just, you know, childhood memories and all that kind of thing. So if I were going to choose a place to go for a picnic, it would be at the beach. Number three is how do you accessorize for spring? And the truth is that I really don't. Um, because I don't really accessorize at all. I have some jewelry. I have some nice gold stuff that my husband bought me. I have some costume jewelry kind of things. But I don't really wear a lot. Probably the only thing maybe is earrings sometimes, but those aren't really a spring thing, those are just a throughout the year random when I feel like wearing it kind of thing. So, no accessorizing for me for spring. Question number four is pink or purple lipstick? I'm gonna have to go with pink lipstick. Um, if you watch my videos you probably notice that I usually wear darker lipstick, dark uh, mauvey reds and kind of brownish colors. Um, so I do prefer the darker shades of lipstick, but if it's a choice between pink and purple, I choose pink because I find purple looks funny on me. Um, my mom always wore uh, purpley shades and they look perfectly fine on her, but for some reason when I put them on, I look gaudy. If you know what I mean. Like, I don't know. I just I don't look good in purple lipstick, so we're going to go with pink. 
Number five is, what is spring like where you live? Well, as I mentioned earlier, despite the fact that it is spring, I'm wearing sweaters. Uh, because it is still cold. We are still turning our heat up in the house. It really, really sucks. <sighs> what can you do, right? Um, this is actually kind of unusual though. Usually at this time of year we're getting kind of warm but a lot of rain. We had a lot of rain at this time of the year uh, where I'm from. We don't usually get a whole lot of really nice weather in the spring. Uh, but when the sun comes out, it's just beautiful because we have such crappy winters that as soon as that sun comes out, it's like, you know, choirs of angels singing. <laughs> so, hopefully that will show up at some point because, like I said, right now we're still turning the heat on. I am spending so much money on the electric bill to keep the house warm. It's ridiculous. Question number six is, favorite spring home fragrance? Going to have to go with lilac. I love the smell of lilacs, fresh lilacs, if at all possible. Uh, when I was a kid, my grandmother's next door neighbor had lilac bushes all along the side of my grandmother's driveway, so that section separating the two houses, lilac bushes all over there. And my grandmother and my mother used to pick some off and put them in vases in their kitchens. Just such a beautiful smell. I love the smell of lilacs. Um, I don't think there's any really around where I live now, but if I could find some nice fresh lilacs, I would have them in the house all spring, all summer, for as long as they would last, because it is just beautiful smell. Love it to death. Number seven is, what is one beauty product you want to finish by the end of spring? This is, I find, kind of a weird question because I never really want to finish a product because then that means I have to buy a new one. See what I'm saying? Um, If I had to pick something, I would probably say, hmm, if I had to pick one thing, I would probably go with my uh, body shop tree tea oil, <laughs> it's hard to say, <laughs> tree tea oil, um, tea tree oil? I feel like an idiot now. Okay, let me start again. If I had to pick one thing, I would choose my tea tree oil um, face cleanser from Body Shop. Uh, I don't think it's called cleanser, now that I'm thinking of it. It's like a mud pack kind of a thing in green, and it makes your face all tingly and it just it feels great. Um, but I have like three jars of it because I got some when there was a big sale going on, so I'm really trying to get through some of it because I don't want it to like start to degrade and you know not be a good product anymore so I've been using that as often as I can so hopefully by the end of spring I will be through at least one of those jars. Number eight is favorite scent to wear during spring. I don't really wear fragrances as far as things like perfume, but I do sometimes use uh, body mist and that kind of stuff. And the one I really like is one that my husband picked up for me, uh, I think at the body shop, it was either body shop or bed, uh, brain fires. Let's just go with body shop. <laughs> um, it's a... Japanese cherry blossom scent and I just love it like the only problem is that I find the scent doesn't stay very long I usually spray it all over when I get into the shower but within maybe 15-20 minutes I find I can't smell it anymore maybe that's just because I'm too 
deep into it. Maybe other people can smell it and I can't. But that's personally I find it doesn't stay very long. Um, but if I could get that scent in something that would like stay all day, that would be perfect. I love that scent. Nice Japanese cherry blossoms. Very beautiful smell. Number nine is favorite flower. I'm gonna have to go with stargazer lilies. And two reasons. One is that they were the flower at my wedding, so that's what my bouquet was made out of. And the other reason is that when we were looking for our house, and we were checking out a whole bunch of different houses and having absolutely no luck at all, everything was just horrible. Um, when we first found this house that I'm in right now, there were stargazer lilies in blossom all around the tree in the front yard. So it was almost kind of like a sign, you know, hey, this is the house you want. I thought that was pretty cool and they, uh, they bloom every year around that tree. Unfortunately, we tend to have rotten weather and they end up getting knocked over or dying. Um, but at least for a little while, I get to enjoy them in my front yard every year. <laughs> and question number 10 is, what is your favorite part about spring? My favorite part about spring is that it's not winter anymore. <laughs> uh, maybe that's a little jaded. Or, you know, maybe I sound like I'm being a bit of a downer, but I like winter when it first starts. And then by the time January rolls around, I'm like, oh my god, please stop. Uh, especially this year, we got so much snow. Like, we just got beaten to death with snow. And even just a couple of weeks ago, it was still snowing. We still have snow in our yard right now that hasn't quite melted yet. So, absolutely, my favorite part about spring is the fact that winter will be going away any day now. <laughs> Just not quite yet. So that was the Spring Obsessed Tag Questionnaire from uh, Shorty Obsessed, who I will link down below. I will link to her original video if you guys want to watch it. And you know how this works? I'm supposed to tag people? Well, I'm just going to tag everybody. Everybody who is watching this video right now, feel free to try these questions. I'll post them below as well, just so that you have them. And if you do decide to do the tag, please come back and link to your video so I can check it out. Okay? If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to comment down below on your responses or your reactions to my answers. I think that would be pretty sweet. So, come back for more videos. Bye!